Ocean State, Dorian, did pass well southeast of us this morning, but we still felt some of its fringe effects at the coastline. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima caught up with some southern New Englanders who made the most of it. Dorian was far enough away to avoid any major damage here in southern New England, but it was still close enough to generate some big waves and dangerous rip currents. Wave watchers out in full force Saturday, taking in the swells stirred up by the storm. I'm a native Rhode Islander, and every year since I was little, we'd come out and watch the waves. I love it. This is the best time to be in Newport. People don't realize it, but when you come, when you come to Newport when there's a hurricane, you get to see a view like that, and you don't normally get to see a view like that. Early risers like Janet Vignoni watched the white caps come crashing to shore. The waves were coming up over the seawall about 4 o'clock this morning. It was a little scary. Um, my car was getting shook, like side to side, and at one point when the waves came up, it actually were was on my car. Officials in coastal towns like Narragansett and Newport urging people to stay off the rocks and jetties, but not everyone was concerned. I've fished these rocks for about 50 years, so I kind of know what's going on out there. Fish like this type of water. Bait gets mixed into it and you just cast into the white water. Onlookers taking in the beauty, not taking for granted our luck in dodging the brunt of Dorian. We're fortunate that it, that we didn't take a direct hit from the hurricane and we're fortunate now that it's so far out to sea that we can just enjoy it as it is right now. Something about it, it's beautiful. You know, it's beautiful to watch and nature. Yeah, it's, it's mother nature at our finest. I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.